Okay guys, so on this pretty chilly day, we are going to be doing a review on the Knife Connection, or the Knife Connection TKC RAT 3. Now, <clears throat> this is pretty much, or as always guys, before we get into this, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe so you can see more awesome Alaskan content like this. So, like I said, this is the Knife Connection, kind of custom Ontario RAT 3. The basis of this knife is a like the, the actual tang or blank of this knife is based around the Ontario RAT 3, which if you guys know the RAT 3, it's basically like a slightly, just slightly smaller version of the SE 3, but it's basically the same thing as far as blade shape, size, performance, all that stuff goes, and it's made out of the same steel, and about the only difference is one that is made by Ontario, and it, two, it uses a different kind of coating, and you can't get them at, in as many crazy colors as you can uh, the SEs. And I think they also might come with different sheaths, but I think they're pretty similar. But anyways, for the most part, they're very similar knives, and yeah, so if you guys are familiar with my SC review, it's very similar, but this knife is just a little bit different, and I kind of like what attracted me to the knife connection version of this is that the RAT 3 is a pretty great knife, but it's also a pretty plain Jane type of knife, and I really liked that the knife connection for a reasonably affordable price, spruced it up with some pretty awesome stuff. So first off, you get a custom G10 handles, and you can choose, there's a bunch of options from the Knife Connection website to choose from, and I chose these tiger stripe ones. I thought it offset the black blade the best because it's kind of orange and black, and similar to my uh, RAT3, or sorry, not RAT3, but SC3, I had an orange handle on that one too, and I actually kind of liked the orange on that handle. I thought it was pretty attractive, so I decided to go for an orange and black G10 handle on this knife, and I have to say the G10 that they do on these is pretty good. I, I really don't have any complaints with it. I do also like how there's a lot of texturing to the G10. A lot of G10 can be really smooth and naturally it wants to be really smooth but they've put kind of like file marks all over the um, G10 scales and they, they really grip up in the hand well. In addition to this, the actual tang of the RAT3 is just a little bit short and so like it would be for me it would be about a three and a half finger knife but the knife connection they make a basically pinky extension to this knife so you guys can tell and maybe you guys can see on camera the tang runs to right about here on the blade and then it stops or sorry on the handle I should say and then it stops and there's about a pinky extension or about another I'd say probably about half inch pinky extension so you can get a confident four finger grip. And I really like that because the SC3 is slightly longer in the handle and I kind of like that more than the RAT3 but with this pinky extension it does make it really nice and very comfortable to hold in hand. As far as the thickness goes these are pretty good sized G10 slabs so they fill up the hand very well and overall the execution of these G10 handles was very good and I really like them. So the next thing they do is they offer custom, I think they also offer custom leather sheets, but they also offer Kydex sheets, and this is the Kydex sheet that I have. I forget the exact name or number of this Kydex sheet, but this is in uh, Cryptek Mandrake, and it's just a Kydex sheet in that Cryptek pattern, and you guys can see I've rigged, I've rigged it up like a knife. You can also rig it up as, a, sorry, as a knife, yes, but I rigged it up as a neck knife, but you can also rig it up as a belt knife too, and it works well in that application as well but either way you run it uh, it's basically this it's basically the same sheath I will say the only kind of qualm I have with the sheath is I do wish the retention would be slightly better I find this retention to be just a little bit loose it does not take much to get this knife to pop out of its sheath so that's about the only thing I really don't like about the sheath but other than that it's just fine it works well and I like it I also like the cat camo pattern a lot. Cryptek Mandrake is a pretty awesome pattern. But other than that, the blade performance is exactly like an SC or a RAT 3, either or. It's exactly like it. It's a very slicey, very fine and delicate knife you can do a lot of work with. It's not necessarily a knife that you have to be scared of. 
as far as like breaking the tip off or anything like that. So it's not necessarily a knife that you have to be super worried about breaking, though I do want to keep in mind that the other kind of difference between the uh, Rap 3 and the SE 3 is the heat treat. The Rowan heat treat on SEs is generally tougher, or I should say rather softer. It treats the steel softer, so the knife is more flexible, whereas with the Rap 3, I don't know who does the heat treat on the Rat 3, but it is not the same kind of flexibility. So keep in mind that you do run a higher probability of snapping the tip off of a uh, Rat 3 as opposed to an SE 3. And so just keep that in mind that you don't want to hard, hard use this tip because it is a very thin and delicate tip because it's a full black grind knife. But as so long as you aren't too careless with the, uh, with the blade, it should be just fine. And it works a lot like an SC3. So for size comparison, I brought out a little Topps MSK. You guys can kind of see it is a larger knife. Um, I mean, it's not a gigantic knife, but it is, you know, a moderate belt knife size. The, the uh, MSK is a pretty tiny knife, but you guys can see there, as far as thickness goes, uh, that the MSK is just slightly thicker. And of course they use different grinds, but Overall, this is just to bring out kind of a smaller neck knife option to show you guys and just add some livelihood, liveliness to the table so it's not just this knife. But overall, I really liked this knife and I think not just this knife, but rather the service that the Knife Connection offers for customization of knives is a really neat service. I was really impressed and quite excited to actually see it because it's so rare uh, to actually see really kind of factory customized knives or knives that you know they companies get from the factory and they kind of customize them themselves generally it's a lot of cookie cutter same looking knives and so i kind of like how they make knives individualistic and there's so many wrap threes out there that look like identical to each other and it's kind of nice to have a one that looks a little bit different so anyways hope you guys have enjoyed this review and definitely go check out these knives especially if you're already set on buying a wrap three um, <clears throat> or if you're set on buying really any of the lineup of SC or RAT knives. Um, the Knife Connection has a lot of them and as customizability. Like you can customize a lot of their different models. So I find that really cool, like of SCs and RATs. So if you're interested or want to get an SC or RAT, definitely go check them out for customizable options of those two brands. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.